Hey there, history buffs and adventure seekers. Get ready to be blown away by some rare and jaw-dropping photographs that document the carving of the iconic Mount Rushmore. From 1927 to 1941, a team of dedicated sculptors, led by the visionary Gutzon Borglum, embarked on an epic journey to create one of America's most famous landmarks. But it wasn't an easy task. The story begins in 1923 when South Dakota State historian Doan Robinson came up with the idea of creating a monumental sculpture in the Black Hills. His original plan was to carve likenesses of famous Native American and American Old West personalities on a rock formation in Custer State Park. However, Gutzon Borglum had a different vision. He rejected the original site due to its eroded and unstable rock and instead chose the solid granite rock face of Mount Rushmore. And thus, the journey to carve the faces of four iconic American presidents began. Borglum's vision was to symbolize the first 150 years of the United States through the four heads in the sculpture. Washington represented the country's founding, Jefferson symbolized its expansion across the continent, Roosevelt depicted its development domestically and as a global power, and Lincoln embodied its preservation through the ordeal of civil war. With a team of 400 workers, Borglum and his crew started carving the colossal 60-foot-high carvings in October 1927. But it wasn't a smooth ride. They faced periodic funding shortfalls, design issues, and the untimely death of Guts and Borglum in 1941, just months before the sculpture was finished. However, Borglum's son, Lincoln, took over the final work and completed the project in October 1941. The carving process itself was a feat of engineering and artistry. Using dynamite, jackhammers, chisels, and drills, the workers shaped the massive stone sculpture assemblage. Borglum's technique involved blasting away the rock with explosives, drilling closely spaced holes, and then chipping away the remaining rock until the surface was smooth. Over 450,000 tons of rock were removed in the process, forming a heap at the base of the memorial. The federal government funded most of the nearly $1 million cost, with additional contributions from private donations. The dedication of the heads happened in stages, with Washington's head being dedicated in 1930, Jefferson's in 1936, Lincoln's in 1937, and Roosevelt's in 1939. Mount Rushmore was meant to symbolize the triumph of modern society and democracy, but for the Lakota Sioux, it represents a story of struggle and desecration. The monument stands on land that was originally promised to the Sioux in the Treaty of 1868, but was later taken away when gold was discovered in the Black Hills. The battle between the U.S. Army and the Native Americans, known as the Wounded Knee Massacre, further deepened the wounds of the Sioux people. Despite the controversy, Mount Rushmore has become one of the most visited NPS properties and a top tourist attraction in the country. Over the years, the site's infrastructure has been improved to accommodate the millions of visitors who come to marvel at the iconic faces. The Avenue of Flags, the Grand View Terrace, the Presidential Trail, and the Lincoln Borglum Museum are just some of the additions that enhance the visitor experience. So get ready to dive into the incredible journey of carving Mount Rushmore as we take you through these rare and captivating photographs. You won't believe your eyes.